सो दिस इज कॉल्ड भूमि आमल की संस्कृत कॉल्ड भूम्यामल की लॉर्ड ऑफ इवन ऑथर्स आर कॉलिंग ओज इज काइंड ऑफ आमल की इफ यू डोंट गो इन टू डीपेल बिकॉज आमला इज वेरी फेमस हर वेरी फेमस फ्रूट ग्लोबली एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम पीपल आर थिंकिंग दैट दिस इज ए मे बी सम काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट आमला दिस इज नॉट ट्रू दिस इज नॉट इंडियन गुज बेरी बाय एनी मीन्स बाई एनी वे इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद द बिग ट्री ऑफ आमला और फ्रूट द नेम इज भूमि आमला मीन्स it is the amla which is not a big tree nice small bushes why we call them bhumi amla because in the stem of the leaf in the bottom you have mustard size of fruits which exactly looks like a amla it exactly looks like indian gooseberry a mustard size but it 100% looks like indian gooseberry it's a wonderful herb for liver i have seen amazing results since i was practicing with my father amazing results and if you go online on search it will tell you that how many great Results they are finding in hepat all kind of hepatitis, including hepatitis C. But be careful; you will see the result also that it is giving toxic effect on the kidneys. It's one of my favorite herb. Let us see what uh, this has. Two kind of bhumi amla, Phyllanthus neruri. The different different two two species are there. Phyllanthus neruri, which is spreads on the ground, more spreading, not taller. A Phyllanthus amorous, which is taller. So, my lineage is very specific about using the smaller ones, which is Phyllanthus neruri. That's why I'm giving you that, which is more efficient. And Sastra says they are more efficient and more safe. because anything is working on liver you have to very carefully it should not be detoxifying too much otherwise you are creating lot of problems baat kritika kashaya madhura hima it can it can increase the vata why if you do too much it can if you don't balance it it can increase vata it can create vata because it's a kashaya kashay rasa what is made of kashay rasa space and air kashay has a lot of space so it can create vata and it is also madhura in hima but hima the cooling quality can create what this is a caution because when you see this met this much good quality people are starting to give okay have little whole glass of juice of it in that situation it will increase vata or if you don't use any balancing any yoga vahi there what yoga vahi is a great yoga vahi for this pipali little bit of pipali long paper or black paper what will be the bad yoga vahi for this cumin cumin is going to be bad yoga vahi for this when you formulate why because it is already kashaya which is already grahi there you it will it can create more constipation but why you are giving pipli because you need little bit of little bit of warmth there to open the channels and the pipli is good for liver pipli can travel inside of liver but again not too much and to balance the action of the pipli and uh, bhumi amla what you will give dgl or fennel that's how the that's how the lock and key theory i was talking yesterday lock and key theory of formulation works in ayurveda it's not like you put 
Every, everybody put on trikatu, everybody put on, uh, go on trifala. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to go beyond that. And then, <clears throat> sage, pipasa, pipasa vasa pitta. Pis, what kind of pipasa? Pipasa means thirst. But what kind of thirst? It doesn't say you trisha. Doesn't tell you trishna. Tells you pipasa. Pipasa, there is a difference between trishna and pipasa. Trishna is like a, making you desperate to drink water or more than water you need. But pipasa is just water. Chudha and pipasa. Pipasa, chudha is hunger. Pipasa means thirst. Normal thirst. Not like crazy craving for water like you are going to kill somebody if somebody is not giving you water. That is called trishna. Desperate which happens in the case of toxicity. But here the pipasa, what kind of pipasa? Pipasa va sa pitta. When pitta is high, ranjak pitta is high, pachak pitta is high, just pitta is high. Not, you have not gone deficit on soma in the deeper tissues. Yet, that is pipasa. Trishna is when you go low in a soma into all the tissues and you are because of the burning somas. You know what, what Visha is doing? Visha is burning your soma wherever they travel. And they can travel from one gap to another gap like that depends how fast, how powerful Visha is that. So he says, if the pipasa is there due to high pitta, then it helps, it is pacif by pacifying pitta. Pipasa vasa pitta, ruk kafa. It is pacifying kafa also and kanduk chata paha. Because it is cleaning liver. Because it has the nourishing power like a dhatri, like a mother to the liver. Of course, with whatever taking care of the liver, taking care of the everything. So that's why it is specifying the pitta, leaching out all the toxic pitta, used toxic pitta from the liver, taking care of the excessive thirst. And because it's opening all the channels, all the burners of the liver, then that agni goes up and then all unused kapha gets burnt, gets specified. That's how it is specifying kapha. And because it is helping the liver and purifying blood, so it is helping the kandu. Kandu means pruritis. Ichi in itchy inflammatory skin, pruritus is a medical term for that. Itchy inflamed skin. Then a chata, chata paha. Chata is again when due to toxins, when the mucous membrane or any any part of the organ, or in this case.